Hello people, a new day, a new country. We are in Muscat in Oman and wow, do we have a story for you as to how we got here. This was probably the craziest thing that's ever happened to us on this channel. Um, we like a good adventure, but this one was a whole new level. So <laughs> let me get straight to it. Let me tell you the story. So basically, we arrived at Muscat Airport and we went through security and that was all fine. And uh, we noticed that there was just a lot of questions like, oh, what are you doing here? What's your purpose here? Da, 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 da. You know, just very, like a lot of questions, a lot of quizzes, which is fine, obviously, that's the purpose of security. Um, but very friendly, very, very friendly people. Uh, they couldn't do enough to help us. Uh, got off the, um, out of the security, we went and purchased a SIM card for Oman. I think it was about 4.5 Omani Real, so the currency here was called Real, I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, I'll put the conversions on the screen for that now. And that gives us three gigs of data. We're not gonna need it, because we're not, we're, we're not, we've not. we even got like a few hours left here now. It was a very, very quick visit, this one. Um, and uh, left the um, airport and we, decided that we were going to get a bus instead of a taxi to our accommodation. Now, before I start speaking about the accommodation, um, I better give some background as to how the accommodations worked out. So essentially we booked our apartment off booking doc, uh, sorry, Airbnb. And uh, on Airbnb, um, the apartment owner messaged us probably a few days just before the booking was due to commence and to explain to us that a pipe had burst in the apartment and that he needed to replace us with a new one, an upgraded one. And I'll give you a little tour of this place shortly because it's very nice. Um, so the gentleman who, who runs this place, or I think three different gentlemen run this place actually, so thank you to all three of you for your help. Um, they were, um, the, the, yeah, they, they wanted to upgrade us because the pipes had burst and it wasn't our fault so they gave us a, a new place. So that was, that was the, that's the situation with the apartment. So anyway, we got here, we got on the bus, as, well, sorry, we got here, shall I say. So we got here and as I say, we decided to get a bus instead of a taxi because I've heard many stories um, anecdotally from people online that um, taxi drivers will run unmetered services. Um, and as a result, you'll tend to get a big big charge at the end so some people have said they've had to pay like 25 pounds just for a five minute journey so i was like look i'm not doing that i like to ride the local transport i've always said i like to ride the transport with the locals so i'm going to do that so off we went to the bus and we started asking around to find out where the bus was to our apartment now our apartment is built onto the side of a takeaway like a, a restaurant shop it's built onto the side of it so um, when I went to the bus and said, oh, I need to get to my rest uh, hotel, it's near this restaurant here, I think it started raising a few eyebrows. So the bus driver said, okay, yep, uh, I'll take you to near KFC and then just walk 20 minutes down the road and you should be there and that'll be fine. So he told us that, but before we drove off, he quickly got off the bus and just speaking to a few of his friends. Didn't really think anything of it. He got back on the bus and we started driving. About three stops into this journey, so about 10 minutes into this journey, um, we get a traffic stop. And this guy comes on the bus and he starts inspecting everybody's tickets and asking people where they're going. And we explain that we're going to an apartment um, that we've booked. And uh, I'm not sure how popular Airbnb is here in Oman, but nobody knew what Airbnb was. <laughs> I was like, Airbnb, what's this? So, um, yeah. This is where the problem began. So the gentleman who came on the bus was like, right, what you guys need to do is get off at the next stop and I'm gonna be there in my car waiting for you. We need to have a little chat. I was like, wow, he's an official uniform. So, you know, we get in, we get to the bus stop, the driver stops, he said, okay, off you go, see you later. This wasn't KFC by the way, so he was very confused. And there was this bloke parked there and he was like, all right, hop in, you and your wife, come in. Well, first he said, who's this woman? I was like, that's my wife. 
He was like, okay, that's fine, she can come in. And I'll explain why that's important in a minute. Um, so we got in this guy's car and he's like, right, where are you staying? Can I see your booking details, confirmation, all that information? I was like, yeah, sure, here it all is. He was like, okay, let me phone the guy who's running this place. Let's find out where it is. So he phones the gentleman that's running this uh, apartment here. And he's like, you know, you say to these people to go to uh, the, you know, the restaurant called Mr. Shawarma, that's not an apartment. So where, where are they staying? Now, in Oman, you need a booking. You need accommodation to be able to come here. I have to make that very clear. You need an accommodation. So you can enter here visa-free for up to 14 days if you have accommodation and you have travel insurance. We have both of those things. So as you can see here, we have an accommodation <laughs> and we have travel insurance and we are only staying for like a, a day. So not much time to explore, <laughs> but we're going to try and do our best. We just wanted to pop in and see what it was like. And the guy on the phone wasn't really giving much information to this, you know, the guy, the, the guy who had come and grabbed us in this car. He was, the guy on the phone wasn't really giving as much information. He wasn't telling him where the apartment was. So then this guy drove us down the road and he said, right, here's a taxi driver, pay him 1.5 uh, uh, rials. I'll put the conversion to on the screen. And he will take you to Mr. Shawarma and you can work out from there where this place is. So I have to stress this, they were trying to help us. It was very intimidating, a situation as you can imagine for us, because obviously we're tourists, we're on a bus, we're minding our own business. The, bus, the whole bus gets stopped and us two only get taken off the bus and put into this guy's car. It was a very intimidating situation, but obviously it was coming from a place of honesty and, and good intentions from these people, but it was still very scary. <laughs> so the guy puts us into a taxi and obviously very luckily we did have the 1.5 real on us we we're taking some change out for the bus and uh we got in the guy's taxi he takes us to this uh restaurant and he um calls the guy on the phone he's like right where is this place and he was like you know oh this is he was trying to explain where it was and then the guy got out of the car and there must have been a big group of people gathering outside everyone's on the phone this guy's trying to work out what's going on because People are starting to suspect now that we've been scammed, potentially, because that can happen. Sometimes people on Airbnbs will put listings down that don't even exist. So obviously he's given us a restaurant location. So started ringing some alarm bells for us as well. So we're sitting in this guy's taxi now. We're looking out over there across the road. He's there with like five other people on this phone call to this guy. He goes back in the car, he sits down, he says, right, you speak to him. <laughs> so I call him, I speak to him. I was like, brother, what is going on? This is Bobby. I'm like, you know, I, I just want to go to my apartment and go and sleep. He was like, Bobby, Bobby, right, okay. Let me explain to the guy now. So he explained and it sorted it all out. And it turns out the place that we're staying is on the side of this restaurant. So I'll try and show you when we go outside. So it's not, so you've got a restaurant here and on the side of the building is the apartment we're staying in. And we had to go and enter a key code and stuff. So the gentleman, the taxi driver, took us upstairs and made sure that the apartment was kosher, that we could get into it basically. That we was able to uh, actually enter and, you know, open the door and get into the apartment and that it actually was still, you know, legit, so to speak. And uh, it was, as you can see, very, very relieved. And uh, we gave the guy two reals and he was like, no, 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 it was only 150. You don't have to give me more. I was like, brother, you've gone out of your way to help us here. Please take the money, you, you deserve it. And he, and he took it graciously and very, very kind about it. So the people of Oman are fantastic. The guy who runs this apartment, or well, the three people that run this apartment are lovely people, but I just think it was a bit of confusion because as I say, in Muscat, you do need to have a booking. And obviously it, the, at that point, it seemed like we didn't have one. So now we're in the country under false pretenses, or so it seemed. So. <sighs> Bit of a story for you. So, obviously with that in mind, we're a little bit more on edge about exploring and stuff. We don't wanna, you know, kind of upset or annoy people. So I've covered up all of my tattoos as best as I can. Um, and we're gonna get out there onto the street, do a bit of exploration and maybe try and get another bus over to the Cornish, which is like the area by the sea. And then we're gonna use a company called O-Taxi. 
Now, the good thing about O-Taxi, and I'll put their little logo on the screen for you, the thing about O-Taxi is that their company offers fixed prices. So you, it's a little bit like Uber, but in Muscat. So you book a cab, you can pay by cash, card, whatever you like, and they'll take you to your destination in the same way an Uber will, because they don't have Uber here currently. So O-Taxi has the, you know, has covered that space. So we're gonna try and use them later, but we'd also like to get on one more bus, because we didn't finish that bus journey. So we'd like to take a bus journey. But with that in mind, let's give you a quick tour of the apartment and have a little look and see what we got for our money. So I guess we can start off with the uh, view from the apartment. So this is what it looks like. We've got a little balcony, and I mean little, and a view of the mountains over there. So in true fashion of our channel, we're very much in the uh, outside of the tourist area. Which obviously caused that sort of caused a lot of confusion, I think, for the uh, for the the driver. <laughs> and this is the inside of the apartment. So we've got a little place to sit here. A little beanbag, table, more seating, lamp, aircon. That was very valuable because it's very hot. Um, a table, TV. It's a big, big apartment, I tell you. <laughs> a little kitchen area. It's a shame we're not here for a bit longer, really. We really could have, uh, you know, enjoyed a place this size. It's a little place to do washing, a little cupboard. <clears throat> we do have a, uh, a, a, you probably can't see it, but this is a toilet here but can't get into it. <laughs> Got a bedroom. Uh, this is a spare bedroom, so the uh, aircon in this room as well. Got a toilet. So interestingly enough, in Oman, um, it's common to actually use these uh, hoses to clean yourself rather than, um, toilet roll has been provided, but it's more common to use these in the same way you'd use a bidet, so that's quite cool. And then a little wash area. I do apologize for the weird lighting. <laughs> and the bed, it's one of the biggest beds I've ever slept in in my life and Tammy is resting, bless her. Um, bit of an ordeal for you, wasn't it, Tam? Um, little set of drawers, another aircon unit. Another table. I was doing some YouTube videos there yesterday, so keep your eyes peeled for them. A little place to put your pieces and another bathroom area. Hello. <laughs> little wet area. And finally, another toilet. So, what is the plan today? Well, as I mentioned, you know, we would like to try and get into the Mutrasuk because it's uh, some. It's the the Mutrasuk, by the way, is a market area, and it's on the Corniche, and the Corniche is like a. Uh, uh, it's by the sea, so it's a lovely sea area, and we want to go and see a bit more of a rural, rustic-looking city. Now, as you can see, we're out of the tourist area, so we've got to get out of this bit first to go and explore. But we'll give you a little look around the non-tourist side of Oman so you can get an idea of what it's like. All right, so we decided that we're gonna get a taxi instead because it's three different bus rides in order to get to uh, the Matrasuk. And of course, we don't know how much that's gonna cost, whereas we know how much the, uh, the taxi driver's gonna cost. But yeah, as always, not staying in the touristy bit, are we? <laughs> as far away from it as we can. So this is what a traditional street in uh, Muscat, Oman looks like. And wow, it's completely different to uh, what we saw in uh, Abu Dhabi. Let me tell you that for free. 
look at this there's the mr shawarma building so if you look there those two pillars that's where uh, we was located but we're going to take a little stroll around the area and see what uh before we go and jump in the cab go and see what muscat looks like and uh go and explore on foot a little bit more so join us and uh, let's explore Oman. first things first let's get some water very thirsty we couldn't drink the uh from the tap at home uh we're unable to drink home only tap water so uh i'm gonna see if these guys accept card and if they do then uh Shukran, my brother. 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 Shukran, my so some people are very very good at English and some people not so much so uh, I know a little Arabic as you may have just heard there um, just enough to greet people and say thank you and stuff so I know obviously pointing works that does the job so uh, we do what we need to do to get by but um, yeah as I say it's just completely different to anything I've ever seen in my life it really is it's a uh, Far cry from Abu Dhabi, which is good. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted something which was completely different in terms of the vibe and in terms of the uh, in terms of the place itself. This is a lot more like the uh, Middle East that I pictured. So uh, yeah, and, uh, there you go. That's where we're staying. I think we're up there, maybe the third floor. So yeah, just spotted a gift shop over there so potentially it might do uh fridge magnets though obviously we're going to the souk but wow it's so hot it's only like a four hour drive from um abu dhabi but it's the heat is completely different maybe due to the mountains that you can see over there that's where we're nestled Can we pay by card here, my friend? Card payments? Card. Card, card. Oh, that's cool. We can. Good, good. Thank you. Visa. That's fine. Shukran. Thank you, brother. Let's have a look. All right. So, can't find a sewing kit or a uh, <laughs> or a um, fridge magnet around here. To be honest, I think that's more of a tourist thing. And uh, again, we're not really in a tourist area, to be honest. There's the entrance to our apartment. It's very nice, actually. Um, so our apartment uh, originally would have been about £35 per night. I'll put the conversions on the screen for you. Um, but the new apartment that we got upgraded to is about 50 a night. So actually, we've got a fairly decent upgrade there. Um, so yeah, I was quite lucky, really. Well, not obviously for the apartment owner, because his building got damaged, but... Uh, it's so sunny and hot it's just a new level of heat we and I, I feel a bit more like i'm in a desert which is pretty cool but yeah i bet you don't see this on youtube often people <laughs> people staying in this part of oman yeah right out in the sticks all right so let's go and explore the neighborhood some more so there we go 
that's where we're staying and uh, it's a uh, shawarma shop but um, on the side of it as I said it's a uh, it's uh, an apartment block or a bunch of apartment buildings so um, yeah we're kind of staying outside of the tourist district so we actually um, you know we had, we had some problems obviously with the fact we weren't staying in the tourist district and uh, I think it's very rare for people to do that <laughs> I think it caused a, a lot of confusion for the people that were uh, you know trying to help us yesterday they're thinking why are you staying here this is not a tourist place but for me this is character when I think of the Middle East or when I grew up looking at the Middle East in you know television gaming films movies this is how I always pictured it you know um, and I kind of I don't I almost felt like Abu Dhabi didn't really uh, del deliver on my uh, on my expectations it was beautiful and I really enjoyed it but uh, it was equally a very kind of touristy city whereas this for the very least this area is a lot more uh, a lot more authentic you know look at this these are the kind of buildings that I was kind of hoping to see yeah this is the neighborhood we're staying in so the plan is is to go and uh, try some camel at some point and a local uh, sweet called halwa which is like a sweet kind of it's very hard to describe it's, it's very sugary though apparently but when in Omar and try the local food and uh, I was looking at getting shark as well but uh, shark is like um, I think about 23 reals which is a lot of money it's about 40 odd quid roughly so uh, yeah but there you go Mountains in the background, all of that stuff, traditional oh, houses. Even in the shade it's like. Even in the shade it's boiling hot, but we are. It's a city in the desert really, isn't it? And you think about it. But um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, on our way soon unfortunately because uh we was only here for a few hours but uh you know knowing that we probably wouldn't have the opportunity for a while to visit this part of the world. You know, we thought uh, we might as well visit somewhere a little bit more, uh, I guess you could say exotic, but I guess uh, a little bit more traditional, I guess will be the the right phrase. But yeah, exactly what I pictured when I when I thought of uh, coming to the Middle East. So um, yeah, hopefully you'll come and visit Oman. Um, I would implore you to try and stay out of the touristy hustle and bustle. Um, I know it's a little bit off-putting in some areas because it's very very rural and whatnot but it's authentic it's an authentic experience and the people have been so friendly and if you learn a few Arabic phrases they go a long way the smiles and the uh, the happiness that people show you when you speak a little bit of the language just a few sentences thank you please it's not difficult to learn the pronunciations may seem a little bit difficult at first but with enough practice it's a lot of you know like um, for instance you've got sabah al or Sabah El Khair, I think you said that's how you say it here. Sabah El Khair, which is uh, good morning. And then you've got Masa El Khair, which is uh, good good evening. You've got Shukran, which is thank you. You've got um, Masalama, which is uh, goodbye. You've got Wahed, which is the number one. You've got Etnen, which is the number two. You've got Min Fadlak, or Min Fadlik. Let's say, say, which is uh, like uh, please. So, just a couple of basic phrases. It's enough to make people smile. So, well worth doing. Right, it's night time and we've rested, and uh, we're now on our way to a restaurant which sells camel meat. The only problem, the menu is entirely in Arabic. But I know what I want, and hopefully, the people that run this place will be able to speak enough English to be able to help me decide, and hopefully, they accept card. If we can tick those three things off the list, then we're looking good. Oman at night, much cooler than it was during the day. Let me tell you that for free. Just had to cross a mad old road, this one here, <laughs> to get to the other side so that we can go to the restaurant, which is down here. 
the things we do for this channel it's all memories I guess but yeah we're pushing forward if you had told me a few years ago that I'll be walking down a street in Oman looking to eat camel meat I probably wouldn't have believed you Here we go. So very traditional. We take a seat here. I've got dry camel meat and uh, and some rice. And the wife has a water. So yeah, let's do this. Here we go, people. First time trying camel meat. Do you want to try any time? <laughs> Not cool for you. So again, right hand only. So let's get this going. So where this is quite lean. Mmm, that is really good. Not even spicy. Bit of the rice. Mmm, perfectly seasoned. So, that's the camel meat finished, and my word, do I have a story for you. So, we went in there and we sat down, we was eating the camel meat and I paused, I was like, Tam, you do have our card, right? Just want to double check. She was like, no, I left it at the hotel. And I was like, the hotel? I was like, but we, what if the contactless doesn't work? Because earlier we tried to make a payment via contactless and it didn't work. Because obviously you've got to understand, we're in Oman currently, we don't live in Oman. We live all the way in England, so obviously my bank got very suspicious, the bank got very suspicious and they were like, um, you know, they, they blocked the payment from going through basically. So I was like, okay, it should be fine. Like we had a confirmation from the bank earlier asking us to uh, confirm the payment was ours. So all we got to do is just uh, pay contactless and it'll work just fine. And it didn't. We paid contactless, it got declined. We tried to switch money to our old account. It wouldn't do it because it's been closed. So now here we were stood in this restaurant and we couldn't pay for the meal we were just eating. We had one, but one dirham on us. Sorry, one real, should I say. One Omani real on us, that's all we had. So, Tammy had to call our bank and she was put through to millions of different people. Honestly, from pillar to post. Thrown through, through from pillar to post, only to finally get through to someone. And by this point, it was looking hopeless. So I said to the bloke, I said, look mate, I'll tell you what, my wife will wait here, I'll walk back to the hotel, go and get the card, come back and we'll pay. And you know what he said? He said, brother, don't worry, you can, you can both go, don't worry. Don't worry about paying. What an amazing bloke. What an amazing bloke. But obviously we don't want to leave without paying. We've had a meal, we're honest people, we wanted to pay what we had eaten. So we kept pushing with the bank, we kept pushing, we kept pushing, we kept pushing. We finally got through to the person we needed. And they, uh, they finally unblocked our card and the payment went through okay. But, oh, go. <laughs> Sorry, it's got across the road. <laughs> and the payment went through okay. And we said to him, I'll tell you what, mate. Whoa, sh shocking. <laughs> and we said to him, I'll tell you what, mate. We'll pay you the money that we owe you, which is 3.2 Omani Real. We pay you that, plus here's the uh, one real that we have on us as a, as a thank you. I don't know how much that is, and I don't even know if that's worth much here, but it was the least we could do. So, crisis averted. We're now on the way back to our apartment, and then we're gonna chill for a bit more. Our flight's been delayed by an hour, which isn't a bad thing if you, if, if you believe that I'm saying that right now, because, uh, we kind of need the extra bit of time given all that's just happened. So it gives us a bit more time to unpack and, oh sorry, pack everything up and get ourselves ready for the, the trip home. So that, that's it. So <laughs> I'll see you back at the hotel for the, uh, for the final thoughts of Oman. Right, so we've decided to come to the very restaurant that caused all this interesting story for us, Mr. Shawama. So we thought, well, look, we're staying in the building or near the building, so we might as well try this. So Tammy has gone for a medium pizza margarita and I've gone for a 
small shawarma because obviously I had the camel um, but I didn't really eat all of it because I just wanted to get everything sorted so 2.4 not bad all right back at the apartment I do apologize for the dodgy lighting and uh, Tam's got the old pizza I've got a shawarma which is only a small one how much are you coming to Tam? Um. there you go nice and straightforward just well the reason why I've had the camel meat and the shawarma is because well we shared the camel meat anyway but Tammy only had a little bit but it's because uh, we've not had any uh, breakfast or lunch so by the time we get back to that is our breakfast lunch and dinner what we've had today and by the time we get back to uh, Abu Dhabi it'll be about three in the morning so we'll be probably straight to bed but um yeah what an adventure must that has been um, it's not been the easiest but uh, yeah, so what do we think of Oman? Well, it is truly an amazing place with some amazing people. Like, I think I've been to many countries in the world and the Omanis have to be the most friendliest people I've ever met in my entire mm. life, by a long shot. And the Bangladeshis as well. My Bangladeshi brother at the, uh, the camel restaurant who was about to let us off. What a man, what an incredible bloke. So, um, the people have been amazing. I have, it's very, very traditional here. Very traditional, uh, at least in the, uh, the part we're staying in. So where the tourist part was, I saw people with you know, their shoulders uncovered and stuff like that and you know, acting how they wanted to. But where we're staying, it is very much outside of that part of the city where with the locals, as we always do. So uh, it's been a, a different experience for us as, that you'd rather uh, usually get as a tourist but we've loved every minute um, there's been some scary parts there's been some pretty nerve-wracking parts um, we felt a little bit kind of uh, out of out of our comfort zone at times because it's a completely different culture and we don't have any like tour guide or anything it's just us on our own so it's been a very very interesting experience but nonetheless we're glad we've done it and we're very glad to have met all the people of Oman and enjoyed this country so thank you so much for having us Oman we appreciate every memory you've given us and we'll for, we'll remember this forever so thank you take care people have a wonderful day and we will see you on the flip side for the next video take care